Hey everybody, my name is Rob. Welcome to my channel. Now, if this is your first time here, hey, feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Now, today we're gonna to talk about shortcuts on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, you can pretty much do these on any iPhone that have this shortcut app, but I'm gonna show you how, to, uh, how the Google Assistant will work on your phone. First off, you need to download the app Shortcuts. I'm gonna demonstrate how it works. Okay, Google, what's, what time do the Detroit Lions play this weekend? The Lions will play the Chiefs on Sunday at 1 p.m. at Ford Field. And that's how it pretty much would work. Now, within the Shortcut app, there's a lot of uh, apps that's in there in the gallery. Some of these are made by me and others are found inside of the shortcut gallery. Now within there, you can see there are a lot of options. You can see the Hey Google for Siri. You have things like send messages. Has a very, very uh, deep catalog of commands. And there's also commands you can make on your own. Uh, but for now, uh, the shortcut app is pretty much uh, where is it at right now? They've done a lot of improvements. And again, for those of us who don't like to deal with Siri, if you want to use that, by all means, go into the shortcuts app, download that particular shortcut. You can also make a actual icon for that shortcut appear on your home screen if you want to. But uh, for the most part, I just hit the button to activate it and uh, bypass Siri and go straight to my Google Assistant for all help. So that's a quick little tip. If you like this video and you wanna see other tips like this, uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, please forget it, uh, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, other than that, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out.